Hey guys, this is Charles with Jaeger Film. In this kind of quick informal tutorial, I'm going to show you guys where the Skybox tools are now located in After Effects and Premiere Pro CC 2018. If you've been using Metal Skybox tools for a while, you may be wondering where they are now because they've been renamed and they changed locations in both After Effects and Premiere. And so just in this quick tutorial, I want to run through and show you where everything is. I'm not going to show you how to use everything. I'm just going to show you where stuff is located. If you check out Metal's blog, and I'll have a link for this underneath this video, They've got a blog post about the integration, where everything is, the new names for each tool, and you can download that image chart to also have in reference. So since I'm an After Effects guy, I'm gonna start here in After Effects and then we'll move to Premiere. And so in After Effects, first thing, if you wanna find a lot of the tools really quickly, just go over to the Effects and Presets panel here, and I'm gonna select in there. If you don't see this, just go to Window and Effects and Presets, and all you need to do is type in VR. And you're going to see immersive video and all the effects have VR in the name. So if it has VR in the name, you know it's a 360 eck rectangular type effect. And immersive video is what you're going to look for in the effects panel now instead of Skybox. Now let's go through here and look at some of these effects really quickly. Again, I'm not going to show you how to use them. We're just going to kind of get familiar with everything, find out where it's at. So if you're looking for the post effects, if you're familiar with Skybox post effects, uh, the first version, which had the blur, so you have the VR blur, VR denoise, VR Glow and VR Sharpen. So that's where those effects are located. You can see I can just select that, drag it over. It looks very similar to the post effects that were in the Skybox suite. Some of them may have a few new options. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that blur effect, but that's where those are located. And then post effects version two, more of the stylization filter type effects. We have those, so you have chromatic aberrations, color gradients, digital glitch, and fractal noise. Again, you can just select these, drag them over, and go through a ton of different options that they have. And again, these are all native now in After Effects and Premiere Pro CC 2018. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And there's a few effects that are specific to After Effects and Premiere Pro, and I'll try to remember to highlight those. So now let's go to the next effects. These are more the utility type effects that are in After Effects here. And the first one I'm going to look at here is the Plane to Sphere. And this is what used to be called Project 2D, if you're familiar with it, from Skybox. So I've got my text here I'm going to turn on, so just some typical text. And now I'm going to apply the Plane to Sphere effect to the text. And now you can see the text is being projected correctly for a 360 video. And you have a few more options over here than we did with Project 2D, so definitely explore that. But I just want to show you that's where that is. So that is called plane to sphere. And you think about it, it's a flat plane, and we're converting it to a spherical projection. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that effect. Next, let's take a look at the VR rotate sphere, and you're probably familiar with this from Skybox. We're just going to rotate our 360 footage, so I'm just going to apply that. And you can see we have those rotate options here that you're used to. So that's really easy. Next, we have one of the effects that's only in After Effects, and that is the VR converter, previously Skybox converter. So I'm gonna select it, apply it to my footage. And this allows you to convert your eck rectangular footage into other formats here. You can see I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these, like a spherical map, and that'll automatically convert that. And again, you can resize it, change orientation, do all that type of stuff with this effect. But that is the VR converter. I'm gonna delete that now. Another effect that's only in After Effects is the sphere to plane effect. So it's a little bit confusing with the name. So we had the plane to sphere, so we're converting something flat to a spherical shape for the text. Now we have the sphere to plane, and this is previously called Skybox Viewer. So I'm gonna apply this now to my footage, and you're gonna see now we have like a very close up view of our footage. And what we can do is I'm gonna right click here to create a new camera, and you can just select it to be any camera type you want and click OK. And I'm going to use the C key on the keyboard to now rotate the camera. And you can see it changed the projection of this to look more like a flat video. And you could keyframe this. And if we come back here to the footage, you have a lot of different options you can convert this to. You can select the input format. You can change the uh, frame width, different ratios, and the projection options there. But again, this was previously Skybox Viewer. Now it's called VR Sphere to Plane. And you can think of that as we're changing spherical footage to be a flat plane now, kind of like flat, regular 2D video. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that effect now. So that's all the VR effects that are located under the immersive video effects. Now there's a few more Skybox tools that are in After Effects, but you kind of have to hunt to find them. Uh, the first one I want to show you here is under Composition. You're going to see a new VR section down here. And we have Create VR Environment. And this is previously Skybox Creator. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and you're gonna see a pop-up dialog box here, which is exactly the same as the one from Skybox Creator. Might have a few updates in here, but you can come in here and select your composition. You know, if you wanna create a new one, this is like if you're wanting to create a 360 scene using Element 3D or some other third-party plugin, and you can generate a, a VR output and select your settings here. 
But again, this is just like Skybox Creator, but it's now called Create VR Environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Again, you get to that from the composition and VR. We also have Extract Cube Map here. So this is like Skybox Extract Cube Map. I'm gonna select this and we can select our composition here and just select Extract Cube Map. So this is like Skybox Extractor, I'm sorry. So this is previously called Skybox Extractor, now called Extract Cube Map. And you have your options here to do that as well. And so you could extract your composition's cube map. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now the final tool in After Effects we wanna look at, which was previously called Skybox Composer, is gonna now called VR Comp Editor. And the way you get to that is you come up here to Window, and down at the very bottom you're gonna see VR Comp Editor. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And it's gonna launch this dockable panel. I can just dock this anywhere I want to. And I'm gonna move this back over. We have the option to add our 2D and 3D edits, and you can just select that, and you can select your composition and you do your comp settings here, select add 2D edit and it'll open up. It'll open up that edit view you can see reflected here and then you can go to the output. So you can make your changes in an edit view and then that'll be reflected again in the output. So again, previously called Skybox Composer, now called VR Comp Editor and it's located under the Windows section up here. One other thing you wanna note is that the Skybox Viewer, Adobe has not integrated the Skybox Viewer into After Effects or Premiere Pro at this current time. All right, let's go ahead and jump now into Premiere Pro. All right, now that we're inside of Premiere, now again, we don't have the Skybox Viewer, but Adobe has integrated a new tool in Premiere called the Toggle VR Display. And you can see that little icon here, you can go ahead and select that. And this gives you kind of a 360 viewpoint. You can click with your mouse and look around. Now, if you don't see that icon right there, all you need to do is go to the plus icon here, and then you're gonna see Toggle VR Video Display. Just drag that onto your panel here, click OK, and then select it. Now default is in a square view shape, and I don't really like that. And so to get a widescreen view, just come over here to this little wrench icon, select that, and you're gonna see VR video, and then you're gonna see settings. And that'll pop up this little box here, and under horizontal, just go ahead and drag this all the way over to 180 degrees, click OK, and now we get kind of more of a widescreen type view that we're used to, and you can click and drag around now with this view. Now again, to toggle a lot of the VR effects, just come over here to the effects panel, and just type in VR. And that's gonna open up the immersive video options we have here. And you're also gonna have some transitions down here. Again, all of them have VR in the name, so it's really easy to find them and to recognize that that specific effect is meant for ic rectangular 360 footage. Now I'm gonna go back up here. There's a few effects in Premiere that are actually kind of unique. And one of them that's kind of under the radar is called VR projection. And so I wanna show you kind of what this is. This isn't in After Effects right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the toggle VR display. So right now I've got monoscopic 360 footage and occasionally, let's say you're dealing with an edit and some of the footage was shot with stereoscopic and monoscopic and you wanna edit them all in the same timeline. Well, you can do that using the VR projection effect. So I'm gonna apply this effect to my footage. And when I do that, if I come over here to the effects options, I'm just gonna move this over so we can see this a little bit easier. You're gonna see we have VR projection and we have input layout, which is monoscopic and we have output layout. And we can change this from monoscopic to stereoscopic over under or stereoscopic side by side. I'm just gonna select that here so we can see it. So when I select that, you can see this is now being projected like stereoscopic footage. Now it's important to note that this doesn't make this footage stereoscopic in the sense that it's gonna have stereoscopic properties. It's not gonna be 3D or anything like that. What it's gonna allow us to do is if we had stereoscopic footage that we shot and we wanted to add that to the same edit, we could add in this shot now to a stereoscopic video. Conversely, if we had a monoscopic video and wanted to add a stereoscopic shot to it, you would take this and you would select your input layout as stereoscopic and change the output to be monoscopic. So now you just have a normal 360 format in that video. It's a little confusing, but it's a nice effect, definitely a nice utility effect to have. And you have your other pan, tilt, and roll options here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that effect. And again, all these other effects here we already looked at in After Effects. The other ones we have are the transitions, which are unique to Premiere Pro. So I'm just gonna select, I'm gonna hit the cut tool here, I'm gonna slice my footage, and I'm just gonna apply one of these transitions. I'll select the glow or chroma light leak, so I'll just drag this over, and you can see there's the transition. You just need to have it between two different 360 clips, and you can just scroll over, and you can see you have the various effects there. And if you select the transition, that's gonna open up the effects controls. For that transition, you can go ahead and adjust things here and keyframe things. If you wanna lengthen it, just drag the edge to increase the length of the transition. But that is where all the effects are that have been integrated from Skybox now to After Effects and Premiere Pro CC 2018. And again, they're under immersive video. And if you're ever in doubt, just toggle VR in the effects panel there, and that'll toggle up a lot of the effects. All right, guys, it's been Charles Jaeger for Jaeger Film. 
Thanks for watching.